Today's update was brought to you by the letter M. How's it going? It's Emerson at Terium Games. Just got a really quick update for you. Uh, I've just been working on menus. Uh, it sounds fun, doesn't it? Well, it sort of is. Uh, I've only really got one menu sort of finished to a point. Um, but what I'm using is something called the UMG. Uh, what was it? The Unreal Motion Graphics? No, it wasn't that. It was some, anyway. <laughs> UMG is like this uh, little editor for making menus. It makes them super easy compared to other methods. And I'm sure I've still got a lot to do. But here's what happens now. So when I play the game, when I run this, this bad boy, I get this. So it's a starting menu, uh, you know, with a little title. The buttons here are ugly as hell, but uh, I intend, as you'll see, to uh, redesign them. It was just about getting it working. So at this point, I've got to do the graphics settings and the control configuration, which is quite a big deal. But I got a cool plugin um, from uh, for the graphics settings that I will uh, endeavour to install. It's just been getting around to that part of it. And controller, I have no idea where I'm going to go with that. So uh, I guess I'll be <laughs> looking on YouTube. Uh, the quit button obviously just quits you back out. Hooray for that. Uh, but straight up, uh, the start single player game gets you this menu. So uh, it's your, as you can see on hover, this one's a little more done. This is a sort of designed, um, it's really, really simple. They're just buttons with a, a little uh, alpha on overlap. I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. So you see it resizes depending on the screen, which is nice. Um, and so when you pick whichever guy you want to spawn as, they've also got the different the different attributes so the ninja is really fast but uh, doesn't have a lot of uh, protection uh, so ninja versus ninja is sort of a two hit affair at this point i do not understand how you win ha i do so uh then during the game you can hit p for pause go back and resume no problem i have to click the mouse again so this uh um I remember reading something about that. I don't know if it's just why you're playing in the editor. You will be forgotten. Um, so anyway, uh, pause and then you can go quit, of course. Menu gets you back here, but it's got a resume button and graphic settings and all that stuff. I do not what you can also do you is anywhere you during the game, you hit full stop. That gets your menu again, which will set the class, but at this point it also spawns you from scratch as that class. So uh, not not working 100% yet, yet, but uh, you know, kind of, kind of works okay. See, I'm the builder, etc. So uh, yeah, uh, just trying to package it into a sort of a playable demo that I can maybe put onto a website so people can muck around with. And again, yeah, change the farmer. And we spawn as the farmer. So the game keeps going, but you're essentially respawning. But I, I'll have it so it changes the class for the next respawn on death. Um, same works for when you get hit. See how it's two, two, heads, two hits from that guy. And you just respawn. So I might give it three lives and, you know, that kind of basic gameplay. Uh, and a high score, perhaps. See, I move quite slowly as this character. The bots at this point aren't um, aren't limited. They just set it at a certain pace that I got to change in the behavior tree. But that's cool. So yeah, there you have it. Bit of menu. Back to this menu. Uh, change the graphic settings and blah blah blah. So it just um, means that uh, the game's a little more constructed to play like a game. You know. You, um, quit out of it so there you have it that's uh, the menu now for anybody who's interested in how to do that uh, hang around everybody else see you later uh, so um, it's all UMG stuff um, <laughs> I can't remember what UMG stands for excuse my ignorance unreal menu generator I'm not sure let me let me all right let's google that real quick uh, UMG unreal 4 that's right you're watching somebody oh in real 3 you're watching somebody Google something. Isn't this exciting? Isn't this what you, you know, spend? Uh, Unreal Motion Graphics. Oh, okay. I was sort of right to start with. So the Unreal Motion Graphics. So what that looks like, uh, I'll show you the the the, uh, the the player picker. So what I have is just three images that I've brought in. And um, on the mouse button, I've got 
the, the little bit of code. So all it's doing is uh, here's the uh, here's the sorry the code for that's for just the hover. So when you hover it, uh, if when you hover over the image, I'll just drag that in from here. Get the image. Um, the linear color is is full. So it's uh, basically the RGBA. So the alpha is one. Uh, false. So when you're not hovering it's 0 0.9 it's really subtle and then it just sets I'm just using the set of the linear color so it, and it sets it here as a return value uh, and on the click which is um, done here I uh, see so um, uh, where is it on mouse button down select builder yeah on mouse button down over there so that one's for the hover and one's for on mouse button down as you can see I know that sounds a bit confusing let me go back and just clarify that so in the designer you, you've, you've dragged a, an image in and picked it as as the uh, as the texture on the image here and then you you uh, color and opacity here it is sorry I was wrong there so they've got the color and opacity you just hit a bind right there so you can create a binding for the color and opacity which I've just got it set as the as the uh, get color and opacity which looks like this I've duplicated it and what I could do which would be better would be to make one button uh, one button widget and then drag that in each time but I'm, I'm duplicating code here which is bad practice but it's just a quick prototype to get it running and then I'll go back and clean it up so the what happens next to actually select you're getting the player character casting to the parent which is the um, base character blueprint just, uh, you see I've destroyed the actor because by default there's an actor spawned in so I'm getting rid of the oh, the default one just dropped my pen excuse me getting rid of the default one so that because um, there, <laughs> there was duplicates uh, I could have it not spawned at all but I like this method because um, it's it's sort of foolproof um, and uh, it's it sort of gives me a location for the mesh and the player start and all that stuff so it's just a bit easier a bit of a hack but you know oh, if I was going multiplayer I'd change that for sure um, which I intend to do eventually hopefully and so I get the location of the mesh which is also helpful uh, and then add 5,000 um, centimeters to it so five meters up in the air on the z-axis then uh, cast to the game mode and set the default pawn class which is uh, you set the your character so you can set the default pawn and that that's the only really thing that changes here and then spawn a farmer from that so the reason why I'm setting the default class is if you die it'll respawn another one the same and then you spawn that from that class uh, then you possess um, that actor that's here the pawn possess the pawn um, remove the widget, get, ri get rid of the, uh, pick, the pick screen and get rid of the mouse cursor stop the game being paused and off you go alright so that's pretty much all it looks like, the others are pretty self-explanatory um, you've got the uh, quit game is just a <laughs> it's just a, a um, you know a, a built-in node and uh, that's unpausing so that's a resume button just uh, remove the the widget uncheck the pause remove the mouse cursor and off we go it's it's all pretty simple stuff and you're just linking those buttons up to each other uh, one by one and you know at, I've got sort of maybe four or five of these widgets that I'll tie together and then I'll clean up the one that I'm still working on also actually I didn't show you that uh, is the tab menu um, I've got a, I'm gonna make a separate widget just to get each player's score and name and ping um, so yeah this one so the old tab menu uh, at this point it just says player the bot and then the score it works for one person you can see on the <laughs> left there the uh, I'm getting all the players but it's only printing one so I just need to figure that one out but you know, just getting the nice transparent, you know, the basic setup for a menu. So just the normal things. I might one v one me, bruv. I will one v one you, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Alright, well, thanks for watching, and I'm um, looking forward to giving you guys a go on this. Thanks again, cheers.